the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Uh, kind of. The bait is here. It's time to experience Minecraft in a way you've only dreamed of. Featuring ray tracing, state-of-the-art AI rendering, and yes, even the ability to create your own textures with real-world properties. Join us for a hands-on preview of Minecraft with RTX. This is easily the coolest way I've ever experienced Minecraft, and you can experience it like this too. After this video, find a link in the description below to learn more about Minecraft with RTX. Today, we explore the wondrous Imagination Island a beautiful theme park that highlights all of the amazing graphical prowess that Minecraft with RTX has to offer. Then, join us in the color, light, and shadow room for more of a technical breakdown into what goes into RTX. Finally, stick around to the end of the video for more information on a Minecraft with RTX beta sweepstakes for your chance to win an NVIDIA 2080 Ti graphics card so you can run RTX on your PC. But without further ado, let's experience Minecraft with RTX on. All right, guys, so here we are on Imagination Island. This is a special map that you can download for free when you're exploring the RTX beta, courtesy of Mapmaker's Blockworks. It is an amazing theme park filled with all of the cool doodads you would hope to see when showing off RTX. Now, I'd be doing you guys dirty if I didn't start anywhere except the lava zone first. And if you think this looks impressive in the middle of the day, go ahead and see what it looks like in the dead of the night. Look at this, as the instantaneous illumination of all the blocks begins to take form right away. You can see reflections all over the ground, the fire is actually giving off a certain brightness to it, and the lava adds a lovely orange glow to everything around. We're gonna go on a little minecart ride. Oh my gosh, there is so much to explore on this island. We're gonna make our way around this lava volcano and really get a feel for the difference in lighting, structure, the way shadows are cast around this entire area. There's a certain type of ambient occlusion that occurs where light is only going to be hitting dependent on where it's being cast and anywhere else has an immediate shadow. You can really see the light bleeding through as we enter inside of this volcanic area where we can see the ancient ruins of a very old structure right here. We may even have a chance to fly around and look at it firsthand. Imagine trying to move around dodging these magma blocks. This is one of the coolest features as well. A physically based materials pipeline has been added to Minecraft with RTX, which allows for creation of texture packs that have real world materials and features being presented, such as the reflective nature of metallic blocks, in this case the gold blocks, giving off some serious reflections. You can even make out parts of me walking behind me, but you'll be able to see that in a mirror-like block that we show off in our tech-based color light and shadow world later, or examples such as with the magma blocks here, where the certain inner parts of the block are giving off a greater amount of glow, intensity, color compared to the rocks that make up the majority of the block's insides. One of the ways I'm able to keep such an awesome frame rate going despite having all of this amazing like mind-blowing graphics hitting all over, I mean look at this blue light reflecting on the ground from the windows around, is that Nvidia has taken great steps forward in, I do have some notes here, in their DLSS technology, that's deep learning super sampling, which allows them to take pixels and resample them to have sharper images while also using that to boost frame rate. So using AI, they literally have artificial intelligence running at all times during all of this rendering and ray tracing going on to need to use less pixels, yet they're able to render them out at a sharper rate so that you can actually get a boost to your FPS with less stuff going on while still maintaining this amazing native quality resolution. Like, it doesn't look like we're losing any pixels, but the game is in fact using less the further out it goes without any real compromise to the quality of the image itself, which allows your computer to have even less strain going on it, which means you're gonna get better frame rates. I mean, 
<laughs> I don't know what half that means, but it's really impressive. As we're walking to our next section where we're going to cover the underwater depths of Minecraft with RTX on, you can actually see a lot of the cool lighting systems in play right now. Look at the way the sun is hitting this pillar right here. It adds a lovely bump map, uh, bump map effect so you can see exactly what's going on. But notice on the side here, there is some slight differentiation in the amount of lighting hitting. That's the global illumination at play where not only is direct sunlight impacting the way that blocks are reflected in game, but indirect as well. So maybe sunlight that's hitting a wall, reflecting off that wall, and then hitting a different block. You can actually see lighting come into play there. Not only that, but you're also going to be able to see a lot of the emissive per pixel illumination that goes on, such as in this room right here. Notice the room starts to get extremely green, and you can actually see the green light being cast through these different glass windows that are covered green all over the place. You can see glimpses of it peeking through this little window right here. You can see these special lamps on the ground reflecting their light on the tiles below. Like, the amount of detail is insane. Even if we were to go into this room here, suddenly everything's got a nice green shadow cast across it using the green stained glass. Even yours truly is looking a little ill here. <laughs> but don't worry, it does get sicker. It is really cool seeing all of this happen. Essentially, in real time, I mean, look, you can see the green light even being reflected against all of this, and that's a lot of that per pixel emissive lighting at play right there. Each set of light data is shown on a per pixel basis, which also allows for awesome light and color blending. So why don't we go ahead and take a trip down this minecart so we can hit the water and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a detour and actually jump into the water in a second here but really just take in you can see all the reflections of the landscape on the surface of the water as well and the water has really taken on this clear color you can make out and appreciate a lot of those deeper dark water blues but I gotta say there is something hiding in those depths, and I'm going to be one of the first to find out what it is. So why don't we go ahead and just break one of these glass blocks and go underwater so we can see some of the particles and the rays of light that are being cast the deeper and further down we go. You can even see different effects of light glowing right here, which means that with that texture pack customization I was telling you about, you can have different levels of light and different glow styles depending on what sort of texture features you add to each individual block. Moving into third person mode right here, you can really see examples of those light rays at play, casting beams of sunlight through the water. Depending on where you are underwater, the light rays will actually work around shadows. You see, we've got a little gap where there's none of that in play. That's because of the shadow being cast by this little rail cart system right here. It really adds just this level of depth and detail to the game that I have never seen before. Like, not even in fan shaders that I've seen in the past, they don't come close to the amount of realism that, like, <laughs> it's, like, built into Minecraft now. That's probably the coolest part. It's official support, which means you know it's only going to get better and better. Again, I I want to remind everybody that this is a beta. The fact that this is the beta and it looks this good is kind of mind-blowing. That just means it's only going to get better and better with time. So when you guys go and get your hands on, on with this beta, well, you're going to be doing that much more to assist the developers in making sure that this looks even better upon full release. Now, there are a couple more minecart rides you'll be able to find on Imagination Island. Again, it is a free download for you to check out using the RTX beta. But what we're going to go ahead and do now is break into a new world that's also available for download with the RTX beta known as Color, Light, and Shadow, where you can see some more of the technical elements of Minecraft with RTX on going underway. But if you do want to check out the rest of Imagination Island on your own, I highly recommend taking the minecart ride that we're currently on all the way through to completion, where you'll actually hit some pressure plates that will give you even more information about all of the different features that are going on in this world at a moment's notice, such as this one right here, talking about atmospherics, as well as a pig stuck in a minecart. Right, let's go ahead and switch over to the other world. All right, so check out this room in here. It seems to go in every direction for an endless amount of time. But if you look a little more closely, you'll notice that we're actually surrounded by a whole bunch of mirrors. <laughs> Look, you can see my reflection going nuts over there in the corner. This is one of many rooms that you'll be able to find in the color, light, and shadow map, also available for free download with Minecraft RTX's beta. 
check out this. This is a technical room where you'll be able to access numerous different zones that show you different ways you can use this awesome ray tracing ability, whether it's light and color manipulation. Over here, we've got global illumination being featured. We even have underwater aquatics that we'll be able to show off to you. We can start with global illumination. Right off the bat, you can see the light rays from the sun outside bleeding into the room, adding instant illumination all over the place. And you can also see different lighting properties and the way they blend with one another, making note that the red and the blue light forms purple on the ground, and the blue and the green, they also blend together. Using the custom texture ability, you can add different glow and light properties of varying intensities at a moment's notice, and you can even turn them into reflective mirrors. Again, keeping in mind it's the beta, sometimes you'll see a floating arm here and there. These are all things that will be fixed with your coordination in checking out the beta. Again, more information in the description below. We can also set the different times so that the lights take on different casting abilities. Depending on what time it is, you'll actually see these things show off different light rays and show them off in different ways as well. Whether you're making out reflections on the ground or messing with lampshades to improve the amount of light being shown off all around, it is really impressive stuff. I mean, even something as simple as these trap doors. You can see the light bleeding through the trap door, but more importantly, you can see it on this glass reflection over here. The blue light right there coming through part of the red from this dragon egg lampshade. Like, it is impressive stuff. Let's show you zone two underwater so you can see aquariums in action you can see the lights reflected off in the aquarium glass here instantly disappearing the moment the ah, i just i can't get enough of it and using different lighting schemes you can actually add different varieties of the light shown off in said aquariums moving further down into the rooms you can see how stained glass can impact the lighting levels and the way they're perceived with this super dark blue looking through the glass but on top here you notice instantly that the light takes on more of a natural form this is all being updated live now check out this overarching aquarium with fish <laughs> dancing above us yo they're thrilled about rtx as well and you can see the squid you can see the different variants in the water slowly taking on distortions as you get closer to it you can see the shadows that the squids are casting on the ground as they move about and heck if you wanted to cause a couple problems you could even break this and you could instantly see how things get real serious when we step inside. You can see all the different light rays being cast in here. Ooh, you really sleep with the fishes now, baby. Just as a reminder, here's a look at Minecraft with RTX on and here's a look at it when you switch it off. <laughs> yeah, a world of difference. In zone three, you can see some different room examples of what it may look like if you were to build using RTX. Here's an example of, oh, well, a lovely minecart station using red and green lights to really make it feel like it's an underground construction zone, you know, almost a little dangerous. This is the bedroom, ah, where I get all my sleep using the lampshades with dragon eggs. Very nice touch. And you can even control the amount of light coming out of this by using different types of trap doors. It makes for some serious decorating that you want to get your hands on. Speaking of getting your hands on, using the custom texturing ability, you can make mirrored blocks as you see right here. So in this texture pack, we've got red nether brick acting as a mirror, and it's literally reflecting the light above. Speaking of the light beloved, look at the reflection properties of these metallic trap doors here. You are seeing the lights on the ground as you look up at this, and you can see yourself, yours truly as well. Hey, good looking, how you doing, baby? Ah, I've never felt more at home. <laughs> look at all of these locked on zips all over the place. Yo, I can get used to this. The final zone available in color, light, and shadow is the light and color manipulation room, which will drop you into adventure mode and has you embarking on a little bit of a mini quest to unlock certain rooms using puzzles. This puzzle involving you following the different light that appears. That's right, using redstone and command block wizardry, this puzzle allows you to search out different pressure plates that are illuminated step at a time using holes in the wall and changes to the daytime in order to highlight what pressure plates you need to hit in what order to unlock that room that we see right over there. And I believe right now is the last pressure plate. With any luck, 
Yep, we've unlocked the new area, and you even saw the lights turn from red to green, where you'll then be met with another puzzle that will allow you to manipulate light using different stained glass, refracting different colors all over the place. And using pressure plates, you can actually combine different beams of light with color from the stained glass on the ground to actually combine different colors, whether it's whites, greens, reds, blues, yellows, magentas, limes, all over the place. Now, you're gonna have to figure out the solution to this puzzle on your own. I don't wanna spoil every single aspect of these different rooms and worlds that you can download for yourself, but for now, I know y'all wanna get your hands on one of these special graphics cards that will let you run Minecraft with RTX. So head over to the NVIDIA GeForce Twitter page to find out more information about their sweepstakes. Participants can enter by posting their own Minecraft RTX screenshots alongside including hashtag Minecraft and hashtag RTX on in their post. You could win a new graphics card alongside some awesome Minecraft swag. Good luck!